this reading is going to be for Taurus for December. It's a timeless read. Whenever you find it, Taurus, it's for you. Um, welcome to my sacred space of love and healing where we do tarot and we talk about other things as well. Um, so Taurus, we are going to be doing a general reading for you. This is not a love reading. Um, I did put up a community voting poll and, you know, everyone voted that they want general reads. So until further notice, I will be taking a break from love reads. I will continue to do the divine masculine um, and feminine uh, twin flame energy updates and also just general reads, not love reads um, until further notice. Now, if you want that to change next month, I will put up another poll and you guys can vote for what you like. Okay. And that's how we'll run this show from now on. So the two top votes were the divine masculine and feminine updates and the general reads not love reads so that's what i will be focusing on and so let's go ahead and dive right in taurus and see what your december holds all right taurus we are reading now for taurus all right what does taurus need to know about their december it's coming up for taurus What do we have for Taurus? The first deck I'm using is a dragon tarot, okay? What do we have for our beautiful Tauruses? My beautiful earth sign, Tauruses. <clears throat> What's coming up in December for Taurus, please? Or for whenever they find it. <laughs> All of my reads are timeless, y'all. Taurus. All right, we have justice. <clears throat> Be patient while I get a little bit of cards out before I start to interpret the energy, okay? Eight of Cups. of swords oof taurus big hugs okay already we're starting to get a theme we have justice eight of cups and three of swords so what is it that you're deciding to cut out of your life taurus that was giving you such a heartache there was definitely something here that didn't sit well with your soul and it was causing you a lot of pain, Taurus, a lot of pain. You know, with the Eight of Cups, that shows me something was not balanced. There was something, you know, that was amiss in the energy. You know, it was a lot of something not being reciprocated here, right? And rather than sit there and allow it to cause you any more pain, the Three of Swords is about heartbreak. Rather than let it cause you any more pain, you decided you were going to Eight of Cups it, which shows me that you've already gotten rid of something in your life that was really painful. Okay? Yeah, look at that. These came out back to back with this one coming out first. Eight of Cups, Three of Swords. I just drew another one and we have nine of swords. Wow, Taurus. So whatever it was, it is still causing a little bit of anxiety and a little bit of worry, right? So what is the advice for Taurus? I think you made the right decision, Taurus. If you are torn up about it and trying to figure out if you made the right decision, I would definitely say yes. What else advice do we have for Taurus on this? situation please spirit thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages 
Six of Swords. Yes. See, Six of Swords. Let it go, Taurus. The advice from spirits is to keep moving forward. Don't look back. The Six of Swords is about moving forward, letting go of that past, and floating down that river to find your peace. There is no looking back. You know, in the the Six of Swords tarot deck and the Rider Waite, the woman, she's in a boat with a child. You know, there's a boat rider who's, you know, taking her to her destination. You know, she is not looking back at all. She doesn't look back once. You know what I'm saying? She just keeps going forward. So that chapter is closed, Taurus. We have other things to look forward. And I'm going to tell you what those are in just a few. One second. Okay. All right. Let's, um, you know, I'll just going to leave those up there but I'm going to put those down all right um what is the advice you have what is what is more advice you have for Taurus in regards to this situation please any more advice I'm going to switch decks actually let's see what advice they have for you Taurus all right what advice do we have for Taurus in regards to this situation And more importantly, well, let's focus on this first. If you have any more advice for Taurus, please. What is the advice for Taurus in regards to this situation? And then we'll get what blessings are coming out of it. Knight of Wands. So this is about finding something that's makes you happy, Taurus, finding something that lights you up and focusing on right now, whatever that is that lights you up, that brings you pleasure, that um, ignites your passion and follow that, right? Ride it like a horse, <laughs> ride it like a horse, jump on that and allow it to Take you towards your next spiritual level of growth, okay? We have butterflies here, which shows me that there is some kind of a transformation going on in regards to this, okay? Whatever it is you've been going through. And I know that when the lessons hit us, they don't always feel pleasant. What's next for Taurus after this? Five of Swords. The Fool. Okay, one more card, please. Going back to the Fool card. The Fool card, please. Six of Cups again. No, that's Nine of Cups. Okay, and tell me about the Five of Swords, please. Oof, this is really cool, Taurus. Okay, so we had the Five of Swords, which shows me this card looks scary. It looks like somebody's getting stabbed in the back. Okay. So this could have something to do with the energy that you've already moved on from. You could have possibly felt like someone stabbed you in the back, like somebody did you wrong in some way. But we also have the Eight of Swords. When I asked to clarify about this, they gave me the Eight of Swords. So that shows me that whatever happened, I'm not saying, of course, I'm not saying that it wasn't painful, Taurus. Because obviously when we have things like this happen... And don't by any means think that you deserved it, Taurus, because you absolutely did not. And it's really hard to deal when there's lessons like this that can sometimes feel very painful, right? But the Eight of Swords shows me that all of the bad feelings that are being harbored from this are sort of keeping you imprisoned in these this box. Look at this. This is the card of like, you know, thoughts going over and over again in a negative loop in your head. 
So at any time, Taurus, we can let go of this self-imposed prison. And instead of focusing on what you feel like this person did to hurt you, instead focus on what it has taught you instead and try to turn it into a beautiful lesson. Because what's coming up next for you, Taurus, is the fool and the nine of cups. So the fool is a fresh start. It's a chance to start again, to have that renewed childlike wonder in your life. And the nine of cups tells me that you have a wish that's coming true. Look at that. It's the fountain of 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 wishes, right? It's nine of cups. Nine of cups is a wish fulfilled. Something that you've really, really wanted and hoped for for a really long time, Taurus, is on its way. And it's going to give you a whole new fresh start. Look, you're going to have the bluebirds singing on your shoulders, right? So you have the fish, which represents abundance. So you have so many good blessings coming in. So the advice of spirit is to do the six of swords, which is to not look back to keep moving forward because everything is unfolding how it should, okay? And I think you're doing a phenomenal job. I'm going to go ahead and get a Power of Love card for you. Now, this is a Power of Love activation card. It doesn't necessarily have to be about romantic love. Um, it is about... Aligning with the activation of what's in the card in regards to all types of love, okay? Platonic, could be romantic, and mainly self-love. What do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus? All right, so we have commitment. Beautiful. You dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly. Knowing that love is the essence of your very being. Okay, so this shows me, Taurus, that even though you may have taken a very powerful hit and it feels not so good right now, you are committed to loving yourself and to understanding that your very essence of your soul is love. And so no matter what happens, if you can just go through it, showing love, not just for other people, but mainly love and compassion for yourself, as you go through these trying times, that that's when it's, what is going to propel you forward into your nine of cups, right? Your wish fulfillment. And don't give up um, on your magic, Taurus. It says that you are throwing yourself into your your beliefs so you know whatever that means to you right the belief in magic the belief in in hope and compassion and love and miracles hold on to all of that all right let's get some advice cards from spirit Man, I feel like everyone is battling a lot of inner demons right now. <laughs> Aries had a pretty heavy read as well. <clears throat> December is no joke for us, huh? For these ascension energies. I love you all so much. You are doing such a fantastic job. All right. We are all going through this together. All right. 20 Throat Chakra. It says, I speak my truth and encourage others to speak theirs. So look at that, Taurus. You have the beautiful gift of speaking your mind and letting people know when things feel good and when things don't feel good. You have no problem speaking your mind and saying, this is what I think and this is my truth and whether you like it or not doesn't matter because I am Taurus. <laughs> and that is a beautiful way to live your life. As long as you can do it with loving kindness, <clears throat> set those boundaries with people and let them know this is my truth and I'm standing in it. And stand firm in your beliefs, Taurus. Do it with love and compassion. And you are a force to be reckoned with, my beautiful Taurus. 
Okay, let that beautiful throat chakra speak, right? Number 20, it shows me that two is the number of balance. You have a very balanced throat chakra. It's very beautiful. <clears throat> so you know how to speak out, right? We have Archangel Michael. Look at that's beautiful. Number 16, I am grateful for the strength and courage that Archangel Michael brings to my life. And so there you go. Um, Archangel Michael is one of your guides. Archangel Michael is one of your protectors. It's number 16. So if you add it up, six and one is seven. So Archangel Michael, whenever you need a little extra love or a little extra luck or blessing in your life, call on Archangel Michael. Number seven is the number of luck and blessings, okay? So when you need that little boost, Taurus, don't be afraid to reach out to Archangel Michael and call upon him when you need that little extra boost, okay? <clears throat> all right. I think we went through all of the cards. Yes, we did. Um, so we're just going to pull a career card for you and we're going to wrap this reading up. Okay. So this is an Angels of Abundance deck. We are going to find um, a career card for you. So we'll start out with those of you who are entrepreneurs um, or have alternative methods of receiving money so what do the entrepreneurs are those who receive all means of money need to know about their finances and their careers exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities now for those that are in the workforce that work a nine to five or to work for someone else what do we have for them for those that work a nine to five or in the workforce or work for someone else god is your source okay so for the entrepreneurs are those that have alternate means of income Exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. It says the key to manifesting quickly is to have very high energy levels. Wow, that's nice. And the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to lie, guys. I don't like to exercise unless it's an exercise bike. Right? And there's a bunny. Look at that. It's me. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't. Um, if it's an exercise bike, yes. I love the exercise bike. Uh, other than that, I, I'm not, it's not for me. Occasionally, I'll do yoga. Okay. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll look forward to exercising and it becomes its own reward. <laughs> so make sure it's fun for you, Taurus. Like... Like, you know, riding the exercise bike, like, it, you know, whatever. Whatever it is that's fun for you. It can even be like dancing, pole dancing, whatever. I mean, whatever floats your boat, Taurus. Make sure that it's fun for you because if you don't enjoy it, here's a little tip. If you don't enjoy the exercise, it's just going to do the opposite. It's actually going to lower your vibration because you don't enjoy it. So it has to be something that you feel guided to do that's fun for you so that when you do it, it's going to raise your vibration and it'll help you to increase your energy. And then also, once you do that, you'll be able to manifest faster. But there's no point in, you know, starting out doing something that you don't like. So make sure it's something that you enjoy. Okay, so that's your advice from Spirit. And this one is for the ones that work in 9 to 5 or in the workforce or work for someone else. God is your source. That's right. And God is source. <laughs> it, God is the one source of light and love. Um, God is our source, right? Is our energy source and a part of us. Everything you need is supplied by the infinite source of God. And your faith opens the doorway to receive. In God, there's no lack or limitation. Rather, there's plenty of abundance for all to share. So take that how it resonates. Um, whatever higher power or force you believe resides inside of your heart, focus on that because that is the source of your joy and your love 
and it resides inside of you, Taurus. Everything that you need is inside of your beautiful soul and everything that you are creating inside of yourself is going to show up outside in your reality. So make sure that what you're putting in your body and what you're thinking about your body and what you're focusing on in regards to your body and your mind and your health is all good. So what comes out is good. All right. I love you, Taurus. And please, if something resonated, go ahead and leave me a comment below. Smash the like button. Share with all your Taurus friends so that I can get boosted in the algorithm. And all of those are free. Subscribing, liking, sharing. And it really helps my channel a lot. I'm really, really trying to grow my channel. So anything that you guys do, I really, really appreciate it. I love you so much. Um, if you want to book a reading with me, all of my prices... And what I offer, I need some water. <laughs> it's in the description box below. Hold on. Click on the Goldie appointment fix. Um, and we can go from there. Or you can click on the Goldie appointment fix, schedule your appointment. If there's a time on there that doesn't work for you, all you have to do is message me on Instagram. And we will figure out a time. Um, I don't know why, but the Goldie Appointment Fix app, like, they have, like, really limited times on there, which is really weird, so I'm not sure um, how to quite fix that yet, but for those of you that have already booked your readings, um, please be patient. December is a busy month. You know, we have Christmas and all of that stuff coming up. I've already got one readout, and I'll be working on the rest, so thank you all for everything that you do for me and for my littles. All right. I love you, Taurus. Bye.